Korea's historic low key rate has prompted Koreans to borrow more, and they're using most of the money for buying houses. That trend is a burden to the economy, but some experts say it's giving the economy a much needed boost. Our Shin Semin tells us more. Korean households took out nearly 487 billion U.S. dollars in bank loans as of the end of March, an increase of 3.7 billion dollars from the previous month. It's the largest gain since Korea's Financial Supervisory Service started collecting such data in 2006. The financial watchdog attributes the rapid rise in borrowing to the country's record low key interest rate of 1.75%. The majority of borrowers took advantage of the low rates to buy houses, a move that's in line with government efforts to lift the sagging housing market. In Seoul alone, there were over 13-thousand housing transactions in March, up by nearly 50 percent from a month earlier. Experts say ballooning household debt on the back of increased housing transactions is worrisome, but it is something the economy will have to endure. Household debt is at an all-time high, and that could lead to a long-term depression, just like it did in Japan. But revitalizing the Korean economy through the housing market, for example, is much more urgent. Forecasting the borrowing trend to continue for some time, experts added that more fixed-rate mortgage-backed loans like the government's relief loans are needed. Introduced by the Financial Services Commission in March, the program helps debtors to repay their loans over a longer period of time. Programs like these are just one of the ways the government may be able to strike a balance between controlling household debt and reviving the economy by fueling private spending. Shin Semin, Arirang News.